and long live Blood Bowl! Yes, that's right, Jim. Another exciting encounter is about to get underway. Should be a classic, Bob. I spoke to the ref earlier on, and he says he'll be looking to keep a low profile. There's little or no way out for this team. The players are going to have to play out of their skins just to stand still. Charge! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Uh, oops! I'm, I'm sorry. That's an old reflex on hearing the starting whistle. I think she's singing him a lullaby. That player's seeing stars now. Funny for someone that wasn't really that bright. <laughs> I've heard of teams that have simply disappeared after being abandoned by their supporters. Let's say that some teams who haven't won a match for several years have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish containers. It's the only way to end a downward spiral. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Do you think you'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. <laughs> Walla! <laughs> right on the schmuzzle! He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. Nice left punch, right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> <laughs> we can congratulate the Junior Paragon Stink Team, who have won the Junior Dungeon Bowl for the second year running. Well done, Spawnlings. And it's interesting to know that the names of several of these youngsters are already on the lips of many of the major team coaches. Perfect pass. Not often you see that. Thank you. 
Doping is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? Ha-ha! <laughs> Stunned! What an idiot! Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see... More, more often. often. Like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swap body parts. <laughs> in a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. <laughs> it's a catch! Now this player just needs to survive. Today's insight comes from Jaime Schnibble, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, now that's deep. About as deep as his team's position in the rankings. Ouch! Right in the face! The other guy couldn't dodge that one. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. <laughs> wow! I can tell you straight, that hurts. The blood will never clot if he keeps running around like that. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. It's not looking good for the defense. The first touchdown has been scored. <laughs> I can say that the match is finally stopped. And they're off! Every now and again, Blood Bowl throws up a real mixed bag of a team. Like the Motley Horde, that's made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those cast-offs every day of the week. He's recovered the ball. Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see... More, more often. often. What a mean hit. As you say, it is pure art. Go back home now. Somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. But that won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> Right hook was worthy of a black orc. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it.
Amazons! Yes, Jim. Scantily dressed women that hit first and ask questions later. Yes, Bob. I just wish there were more women like that. Don't we all, Jim? Don't we all? <laughs> You can't say much about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. What finesse, what style, what perfection. What a hammer blow! Oh, brilliant sidekick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. We don't see much of the Heroes of Law these days. I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the Heroes of Law hope to show the world a better way by honest, strategic play on the pitch. It's probably a good thing we don't see them. This player has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. Yep, upside down. That's one way to look at things. Mighty Zug was swayed by pleas for calm. Broadcast into the stands during his last match. He pulverized all the supporters. Trust him. He likes a job well done. He really liked that uppercut. He may not have liked it, but he certainly ate it. <sighs> mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob. Hold still and then pow! Right in the face! The 
the Blood Bowl annals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. Interception! Has she got telescopic hands or what? Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Brilliant pass! As you say, good job! It was with a catch like that one, Jim, that I won the Chaos Cup. That doesn't make us feel any younger, Bob. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the League should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. Now, there's an acrobatic routine worthy of a gold medal. Yes, it's nice to see an uppercut followed by a double backflip. <laughs> Nothing like a half-time break to make a few running repairs. Ah, yes, Jim, but there are some who'll need a couple of hours' work. Then the match can get underway once more. The players have had time to recover and lick their wounds. That's not all they've been licking, Bob. Oh, Jim. <laughs> the ball goes skywards and the match is on. That hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. The bench seems to be in two minds about what to do about the player lying prone on the pitch. Yeah, they don't know whether to send on a stretcher or a coffin. Did you hear about the Venus man-eaters, Bob? Oh, yes, Jim. I think everyone knows about the man-eaters. Oh, I'm scared, Bob. So is everyone with proverbial coconuts. You can't say much about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. <laughs> Ouch! Have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine, and he's having a little nap.
years of training have gone into that stamping action. As they say, practice makes perfect. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh, yes. They were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snapping of a wizard's neck. player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident, when rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. This player has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see... More often. <laughs> oh, brilliant sidekick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion.
over there, some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Ah, no way! A little elf beauty, yeah. like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. I can tell you straight, that hurts. I think she's singing him a lullaby. You can't say much about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. And today's question, which will allow one lucky viewer to win a year's subscription to Spike Magazine, is... Which player won the 85, 87, 91, and 99 Blood Bowls with the Reitland Reavers? Was it Griff Oberwald, his wife, or his future son? Easy peasy. Especially as two of them never touched a ball. Spreading the ball around. That player is taken away on a stretcher. But still alive, I can see the drool. That player is seeing stars now. Funny for someone that wasn't really that bright. <laughs> knocked his teeth down his throat. Yes, Jim. That's never a nice sight. <laughs> Good hand skills. The ball is caught. and eat the dust. It's good for you. A full facial smash while he's on the ground. It would have been a shame not to take advantage of the situation. These exotic blood ball players are fairly new to the game, Jim. Yes, Bob. They mesmerize me every time they enter the pitch. Ah, yeah, Jim. These illustrious Amazons sure have added some flavor to the game. Look at that. Whoa! Oh, wow! Ow! Now, there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. <laughs> Looks like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. What does R.I.P. stand for, anyway? Repose in pieces? <laughs> she wasn't looking too healthy, so a bit of treatment will do her some good. Yeah, that way she'll be able to take a few more blows. Ow! So he's knocked them senseless. You're assuming, then, that he had something between his ears to begin with. Ouch! 
have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. Corruption so widespread that the Referees Guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob! Please take up there. Nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. The ball changes hands. That'll do nicely. They're not far from the line now. It smells like a touchdown. Hold still and then pow! Right in the face. As soon as he throws his first punch. We know the opponent will be out for lunch. Reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. Did you hear about the evil Gits? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. Luckily for him, he's in a coma. Yeah, but I think it will still be hurting when he comes round in a day or two. Mm -mm. <laughs> they really deserve that. Three, two, one, bust up! Clean take up there, nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. Uh. Ouch! Right in the face! The other guy couldn't dodge that one. And the dispatch has just come in. Scandal during a world doping conference held by the humans. The three dwarf participants were warned too late that it wasn't a mug of beer that had been placed on their desk. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. They clearly know how to get heard. They just blew the opposition away. Poor oh, God.
Their weight and power is inversely proportional to their intelligence. Yes, I'm not sure what that game plan was, but it certainly didn't involve the ball. A logical defeat for a team that was just not in the game. They couldn't get their hands on the ball, and that's what cost them the game. How often does the MVP end up on the losing side? I don't know, but if it continues like that, he'll be looking for a new team. I hope that none of the opposition suffers from claustrophobia. The team kept them confined to their own half. Own quarter, I'd say. When you think that there's a whole industry built around providing players with performance-enhancing products, and nobody has taken anything. The pharmaceutical rep was relieved of his stock by the fans. A bit strange, I might say. The ref didn't show one single card during the whole match. I think somebody sawed his arms off. 